it's me again and welcome to Faith's Faces. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name's Faith Grenade and I put makeup videos here on YouTube. And you should subscribe and hit that little bell icon down below. It'll notify you every time I upload so you don't miss a minute of this riveting action. I'm not wearing false lashes today and it feels weird. What you've stumbled across is Faith's Faces, which is usually a get ready with me or a makeup tutorial like we've got going on today. I'm testing out another new palette for you guys because I've been buying palettes left and right and I need to actually start fucking, you know, not being a lazy bitch and using them. We are playing with the Melt Cosmetics Smoke Sessions palette. This is part of their holiday collection and it is marijuana themed. I'm not huge into like the smoking act of things, especially since I have sports induced asthma. I don't really do smoke that well, but I do enjoy this palette. <laughs> I think, you know, almost immediately when they released uh, like the first picture of this, I was like, I need this immediately. The This palette is me all over. It's all of those olivey khaki colors mixed in with a few of these like foresty colors and then these blue teals. It's just all green all the time and I absolutely love green. It's one of my favorite colors to work with on myself. So naturally I gravitated toward this. Now this is the first time I'm using this palette so I'm not gonna necessarily you know come out and say yes this is amazing or no this is some garbage. I will say that the shadow quality is fantastic but there are a few missing pieces in the palette itself which I'll talk about toward the end of the video when I go over my final thoughts. I honest to god guys I meant to go for soft. I really did <laughs> and I don't know that I accomplished that today. Um, it's sort of olivey and gorgeous. There's a cat in my yard. Hello. Hello, little orange cat. I don't know who you are, but I'm happy to see you. But yes, we got a olivey green gold thing going on. I really meant to do something very soft and subdued because I did not want to go too crazy with my eye makeup today, but you guys know how that is. I get excited, and when I get excited, I get crazy. Um, I love this, and if you want to know how to get this kind of chimney sweep, <laughs> natural, uh, subdued, but still olivey toned and fall-like look, then just keep on watching, baby. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get into it real quick. I thought I was going to have time, and then my sister texted me right as I was finishing up with this one eye, so it's kind of like, great, now... I have no choice but to do the other eye and actually like do my makeup today, but now I have no time. First, I am going to reach into Gemini because Smoke Sessions has no transition shades to speak of and your girl needs her transition work, especially if I'm, you know, gonna be deepening things up at all. So I'm gonna take the Gemini palette, I'm gonna take Mochi, which is that yellowy mustard green shade. So it's like a green toned yellow. I love colors like this. And then I'm just gonna whip that through the crease on the outer corner. You can see I'm not really being super exact about this. Initially, this was supposed to be like a two shadow look, just like a real quick something or other, throw it together, <clears throat> throw it on, walk out the door. But as happens with me and makeup a lot, I was like, oh, what if I add this? What if I add this? What if I add this? And now it's a smoky eye. And that's the first and only shade we will be using out of the Gemini palette. Just something to give some transition, to give the darker shade somewhere to go. So speaking of darker shade, I'm gonna take Sour Diesel, which is this darker kind of neutral brown green, and take a tap of that teeny tiny bit on this little Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush, tiny crease brush. Um, I used a wet and wild crease brush for the first bit. And I'm just gonna knock this into the outer corner. Not really using much pressure at all. I'm just gonna let the shadow do the work and blend into this shade. But I do concur with what a lot of people are saying about this palette. I think there are some colors missing. Um, for one, transition shades on either side. Like their other palettes are 10 shades, this is eight shades. So just add those extra two colors and make those two colors transition shades and this palette would be stunning. I mean, absolutely perfect. 
Now I'm going to dip into my Smith 253 brush. I need to get more Smith brushes when I go to IMATS, but I'm going to dip into Granddaddy, which is that dude right there. It's sort of like, it's almost like a shade between Black Widow and Gravity OG. Yeah, that's what that's called. I don't smoke weed. Can you tell? Um, but it's like a shade in between these two. So it's not quite as green as this one, but it's not quite as gold as this one. It's somewhere in between. I think that's really smart uh, to do that. But I'm going to take that on this packing brush and I'm just going to glide it over the lid. Really simple plug and play look here, guys. <laughs> I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel today. Now working into the lower lash line. Yes, I know we're there already. I'm going to take a relatively clean uh, Real Techniques Insta Pop crease brush, this teeny tiny eye brush that's sort of slanted. Not really using the slanted part. I'm gonna dip in to Mochi first, because I dipped into the lighter color first. So I'm gonna dip back into Mochi from the Gemini palette, and I'm gonna run this all along the lower lash line. Just ham fist it. Then getting rid of the Gemini palette, going back into smoke sessions, I'm going to take Sour Diesel on a Real Techniques accent brush. Just tap that on there. And we're gonna go right up underneath the lashes. Not blending the dark color super far down. And then just for funsies, this really didn't do much of anything, but just to use a couple more of the shades, I went ahead and took Black Widow, which is this guy right there. Um, kind of a deeper shimmery olive color. And then I did that on the lower lash line, like the inner part of the lower lash line. Again, doesn't really do much of anything against that black color, but it does provide a little bit of a shimmery pop. The plan was not to look ill today, but <laughs> that's what we ended up with. So at this point, if I really wanted to go full glam, I could definitely, you know, throw some concealer on the under eyes, put some lashes on, uh, that whole thing. And then I would end up with a really nice sort of smoky, olivey toned eye. However, I get the feeling that my sister's blowing me up, which means I'm going to have to leave here very soon. Oh no, it's just Facebook. Okay, we're good. Um, but I didn't want to do a really, really glam look today. So I'm gonna see how things go. I'm gonna try just wearing mascara. I normally don't do that. You know, I normally wear false lashes every time I wear makeup, but I really just didn't feel like it today. So I'm gonna try just doing mascara and see where, you know, my lashes are at today. Might end up putting lashes on, but I'm gonna do all that. I'm not planning on wearing any foundation today. So I'm really gonna be relying on you know, a little bit of concealer through here just to cover up the redness and then do some bronzer, do, you know, probably no blush, but I'm going to do bronzer and kind of sculpt out the face a little bit and see where I'm at. And then I will come back to do some lips for you guys. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Just, uh, fanning myself off after spritzing some setting spray on. I used, um, I'll just go over everything I used really, really quickly for you guys um, to get this skin. Nothing crazy today, okay? Nothing crazy at all. I went ahead and did some Cover FX Power Play Concealer and used that as foundation. That's the only coverage product I'm wearing right now. I went ahead and put it on the sides of my nose, a little bit on my chin because I'm getting some redness there lately. Um, and just, you know, various points throughout the face to get a nice even base. Really, let's be honest, <laughs> I mainly focused it around my nose because my nose is the reddest part of my entire body. Um, but I went ahead and did that, and now I'm just blotting some of that setting spray away. So I'm only glowing in the places where I want to glow. Um, used my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, as always, just for a little bit of sculpting on the perimeter of the face. No blush today. I really didn't feel like adding more red. Um, certainly not with this kind of minimal of a complexion. I wanted to keep things very simple. So did away with the blush. Uh, instead, just put a teeny tiny bit of bronzer onto the apples of the cheeks like I always used to do. You guys remember when I used to do that? Because I used to do that a lot. Um, 
just put mascara on. I used my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara as always. I'm gonna try and avoid putting lashes on today. Um, and then I actually created some faux freckles, which I haven't done in a long time because that trend kind of died, but I wanted to, because I have such strong eyes going on, such unintentionally strong eye makeup going on, I wanted to soften the complexion to sort of balance out the skin as a whole, if that makes any sense. So I went ahead and took my eyebrow pomade and a little tiny liner brush and I just dotted freckles all across my cheeks. I dotted them above my eyebrows a bit and a little on my chin over the top of the nose just to create a little bit of a natural looking skin finish. There's a couple of different directions I could go with this. I could go really nude and sort of leave it at like a nude gloss or a nude lipstick, um, but I feel like I've been doing nude a lot lately and part of me wants to try one of these new Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks from his holiday collection. This is the Alien collection. Yes, of course, I got the Alien palette, um, but I wanna use that in a more colorful look later on and I really intended for this to be very very natural and very subdued but uh, I'm tempted to try this shade Karma which is a khaki green and I feel like it could either go really really well or really really badly let me just swatch oh my god this shade is stunning I wasn't gonna get any of the liquid lipsticks from this collection because I didn't really know much about them. And then I saw um, Naomi John's video about the collection and that sold me. I got three of them after watching that. But um, mm, it might not be yellow enough to work. Yeah, mm. I think it might work, maybe, but part of me thinks it's not gonna be quite yellow enough to complement the eyes completely. I don't know. I'm tempted to try it anyway, just to do something crazy, you know, why not? But at the same time, I am trying to, <laughs> I am trying to get out of here and I'm trying to make this look very natural and subdued. So I think instead of doing that, I'm going to go ahead and throw a nude lip on or maybe something that's a little bit more brown in tone, um, just to keep things consistent and keep the focus on the eyes. So whatever I'm going to do, let's do that now. Okay guys, not much of a difference. I did just go ahead and throw a gloss on because with the eyes being as strong as they are, I really didn't want to do anything too dark or too crazy. Um, I did change the eye look slightly. I ended up taking, um, what was the shade? Black Widow. So first I took the gold shade we put on the lid, Granddaddy, and I carried it all the way over to the outside of the lid. And then I put Black Widow over top and basically just put shimmer all the way across the lid into the crease, just to lighten that up a little bit because that deeper, darker shade is very dark. So I wanted to kind of make this a little bit softer and I actually like that change. I think it lightened it up just enough to make this look make a little bit more cohesive sense where it's kind of like, yeah, okay, Okay, I could see that that's supposed to be there. It doesn't look like a super imbalanced look where you've got really, really heavy, dark eyes and then light everywhere else. It's sort of lighting things up a little bit, if that makes any sense. Last but certainly not least, my little newsboy cap. And I feel like I'm looking pretty good today. You know, I like how this look came out. I like the complexion, especially. I like the addition of the freckles. I feel like that just softened the entire look. And that was really what this kind of needed was just some softness to it, if that makes any sense. Without further ado, the thing I always forget to do, let's do some awkward posing. Awkward posing. Looking down, looking forward, looking fierce. I'm gonna lie, it feels weird to not be wearing false lashes, but I don't hate it. I kind of like it with this whole tomboy look I've got going on. I feel very queer right now and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm just gonna live in this queerness for a second. As for the Smoke Sessions palette, I'm probably gonna echo a lot of what other people have been saying about this palette so far. I think it's beautiful. I think the colors in here are absolutely stunning. However, comma, it's missing some shades. You know, it, it is definitely a supplemental palette that you're going to have to throw some extra shades in. For me, that's not a deal breaker because I have literally a hundred palettes. I have transition shades out the wazoo. I don't need any more, but especially if you're buying this as a standalone palette, um, 
that's a really big gap, you know what I mean? To be missing any transition shades at all whatsoever. To go straight from dark to shimmer is kind of a lot. And if you're buying this to use it as a standalone palette, I really don't think it would be good for that. However, that being said, I do think this is absolutely beautiful. The quality of the shadows that I used was really stunning. I had no issues with that at all. Um, that being said, I haven't used these guys yet, and I'm really excited to do that, especially if you like greens, which I, I, I adore green. It's one of my favorite colors. If you like green, and especially if you already have the Gemini palette, this is the perfect companion to that. Um, if you already have the Gemini palette, go ahead and pick up Smoke Sessions. It's a beautiful palette. Um, if you don't, just make sure you have some kind of warm transition shades to use to kind of round out your look a little bit, because I really feel like Smoke Sessions is missing that uh, in a lot of ways. Now, at the same time, you don't necessarily need a ton of like transition shades or like separate palettes. You could totally throw your bronzer in the crease and call that a warm transition shade and that would work with something like this. Just thought I'd throw that out there. It is definitely something that's missing out of here that would make it a complete rounded standalone palette, but I think the shades are beautiful and I will definitely be gravitating towards it. Um, I've been really finding those sort of unique green, yellowy tones like this really, really appealing. So for me, it's perfect, but for some of you, it may or may not work. But aside from that, that's about it for me today, guys. I hope you found this video helpful, informative, or entertaining. If you did, there's a button for that. Spank that like button in the butt. You know it deserves it. And if you want to see more from me, you've got a couple options now. You can click the videos on either side of my head to binge if you're bored or bummed out. Or hey, you can hit that button that looks like my face and subscribe and become a member of the faithful today. I put out new videos every Sunday. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and joining me today. And I will see you in the next video. Toodles!